And to know from the Midlands of England, the venue for this match this is Villa Park. Park. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Aston Villa facing Manchester City. Hi Derek, thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. Hopefully we get a good game. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. As a team, they are wedded to dictating the pace of the game, controlling possession through short passing. More of the same today, Lee? Yeah, I think so. It can be incredibly frustrating for the opposition just trying to get the ball back. It's so mesmerising, almost leads you to a false sense of security. Then one or two passes later, and they cut you open and they're in. Enjoy the match. And they kick off here. Douglas Luiz. A bit sloppy in possession. Oh, he's in behind. Gabriel Jesus. In it goes. An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And what a finishing job he puts on this. It's almost a training ground drill. He's so calm and collected. The half volley is perfection. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. John McGinn. Marvellous Nakamba. Giving the ball away. Mares. Good vision, can he get onto this? Is it going to be? And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. And now the delivery. Foiling them effectively. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Douglas Luis. Target with it. It's with Douglas Luis. Trezeguet. Moving the ball effectively. Marvellous Nakamba. And the attack fades out. Ruben Diaz. It's with Gundogan. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Marvellous Nakamba. 
John McGinn. Watkins. Oh, a lovely ball. Chance here. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. And turned out of play, so it will be a throw-in. Well, that's a completely wasted throw-in. Trezeguet. Douglas Luiz. Matt Target. Nice-looking pass. Now getting the ball forward. And just slightly offside. Oh, he's given it away. Mares. Well, possibilities inside the box. Rodri. On and on he goes. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Man City is struggling in terms of possession, but on the break they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Could be! Can they square the game? And thumped away. De Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Gundogan. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Ollie Watkins. Beautifully disguised ball. He just needs to stay level-headed now. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball. And because he's on his own, he collects himself, and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Well, a penny for his thoughts right now, Derek. Plan B, I think, is needed. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Gundogan. Watkins. Marvellous Nakamba. And here is Mings. Watkins. Opportunity here. Must be. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go around me? He's got no chance. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. Questions have been asked of Manchester City. Now it's all about their answers.
Ball played nicely. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Rodri. De Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Gundogan. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? And they've won possession again. That is that for the first half here. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark in attack in this game, Lee. Well, he's been a little bit safe today. He's not risked anything. That's not good enough. That's why they're behind in this game. Sometimes you've just got to take a little chance. Go for it. So, back in business, the second half underway, and City trying to plot a route back into this one. Rodri. Well, as we can see from the stats, City controlling possession here, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more, the back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Ruben Diaz. Rodri. Gabriel Jesus now. And they're sitting ever deeper. Gabriel Jesus. He's in with a chance. On his own, with only the keeper to beat, and still he's missed it. Well, he had one thought, power. He should have thought composure. Marvellous Nakamba. Trezeguet. Here's Mares. Aguero. Now Gundogan. Oh, he's through here. And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Well, Derek, that tells you all you need to know about this group of players. Great team spirit, fantastic stuff. Well, as we can see, the keeper's done his best, but there's nothing he can do from there. He's not going to miss that one. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, the happy times are back. The coach is more than delighted by his team's response. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Walker. De Bruyne. Aguero. It's with Gundogan. But wasteful from City. Douglas Luiz. Esri Consa. McGinn. Nakamba. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Mares. Walker now. Really nice ball. Gundogan. Well, he had designs on a double, but the goalkeeper wasn't having it. Well, he did better than the first time, the goalkeeper. What a save that is.
Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches. He's driven in the corner. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Just the challenge that was required. So, 20 minutes to go. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Rodri. De Bruyne. It's with Bernardo Silva. Wasteful from City. Marvellous Nakamba. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And time for the change now. De Bruyne. Aguero. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Excellent passing. Sterling. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Aguero. Rodri. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? But it wasn't a taxing save. Bernardo Silva. Oh, can they nudge in front late on here? Walker. Sterling. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Time for a change then. Oh, good strike! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no, there's another chance. And there it is, back of the net, it looks like the winner. Well, here's the replay, and it's lovely. You can't blame the keeper, he can't go early and gamble. It's lovely technique to bend the ball over the wall. It's perfect. Three, two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Number 17, Kevin. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. John McGinn. Losing possession here. De Bruyne. Sergio Aguero has it. Rodri. Joao Cancelo. Oh. 
Options in the middle. So the final whistle has sounded and a day of disappointment for Villa comes to an end, Lee. Oh, Derek, play right to the end. Just when you think the game is over, that's when you should be switching the turbo concentration button on. It happens so often. Losing like that will really hurt a lot. And it's no accident that the cameras are zooming in, as they often do, on Kevin De Bruyne. Well, grabbing that late winner was the icing on the cake. What a good performance from him.